not only spiritually for a different moment in my life, but also I'm getting ready for a different atmosphere. Not only that, I'm getting ready for a different place. Not only a different place, but I was getting ready for different people. Not only for different people, but people with a different language. Not only people with a different language, people with a different belief. But when you are present and you are ready, God is able to use you in any place, space, atmosphere, weather, territory. God is able to use you. Just get ready. All right. Now that you get it, let's go to scripture. The book of Joshua 1. The Bible reads, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses aid, Moses my servant is. Me and I'm preaching to people who know the word of God. Moses my servant is. Come on somebody. Moses my servant is dead. Now
wipe your foot on. That's right. And then it says, as promised to Moses. What does that mean? Every promise that God gave to Moses now belongs to Joshua. I declare and decree upon your life. Every single promise that was spoken into Moses' life shall be your promise too. Every single blessing that was spoken to your mother and your father will now be your blessing. Every single inheritance that was meant for somebody else, God is saying today it is your portion. Joshua. 
the Lord is giving you a blessing into your hands. He says, not only are you carrying your blessings, but everything that your forefathers inherited, that belongs to you. Everything that Moses inherited belongs to you. Everything that Abraham inherited belongs to you. Everything that Jacob inherited belongs to you. Everything that Isaac inherited belongs to you. some years ago, I think it was in 2015, and I was sitting in a room of a lot of actors, well-known actors, who had been in the industry for so many years. Some look better than me. They speak better than me. They might walk better than me. More qualified than me. But the problem is that they were not. I'm not walking out of this room with the same status. I refuse. I refuse. And so I went for my first round audition. It went well, very well. And I went to my second round audition. And the lady was like, I've got goosebumps. It was a white lady. That time, people last paid to my health to goosebumps. I was like, okay, girl, talk about being ready. You confuse the atmosphere. You confuse everything. Even when they don't understand your language, but you will make your mark. Even when they can't hear you. If it's your time, it's your time. If it's your opportunity, it's your opportunity. Nothing and no one will steal that from you. And I began to speak the pain that I did not even know. But because I was ready, God began to open doors. When I went for my third, third edition, I was like, God, I did not come this far. Hey, boss. Hey. You're a God who makes dreams come true. Yeah. I want people to know that when you open a door call, nobody can. I want people to know that we are infiltrating an industry that has been tainted to save the place of the devil. Okay. 
Thank you. 